Pisces. This is your love reading for July 2022. Yes, it's late. I thought it had uploaded and it didn't. And now I'm re-recording it for you. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and uh, shuffle these cards and connect with spirit. Now, remember, this is a generalized reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, um, just keep the parts that do. Disregard the rest. If it does, there is an extended, and you will find the link in the description box below. And if you stick around at the end of the reading, I'm going to pull some oracle cards from a few different decks. And so we'll have like a pretty good idea about what's going on for July 2022. Also, I'm going to be doing the Celtic Cross for this month. Um, that's what I did for all of the other uh, readings in the series. So uh, usually I do my own. Uh, it's like four columns, but a couple of you guys have requested the Celtic Cross. So uh, that's what we're going to do for this month and see how it works. Okay, I feel like my way is a little more in depth, but we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, the oracle cards help, uh, you know, clarify. And here we go. I'm dividing these into three stacks. And the card on the bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. Now, this is your overall energy for uh, this month. And, you know, this is a really, really good card to have because it shows that, you know, <clears throat> As you're making changes in your life, new changes, more positive changes are coming in. So where you may not have been experiencing the best luck, uh, now it's time for that to happen in your life. You are uh, going to be um, receiving, you're gonna be the recipient of quite a few uh, awesome and amazing things that are in store for you this month. Now let's go ahead and lay out this deck. All right, we're starting the card with the uh, the reading with the judgment crossed by justice. Okay, already. All right, now uh, the goal is the magician, distant past, the knight of cups, current energy, seven of swords. Oh, goodness, I just need to throw this whole thing away and start over. All right, the two of swords. I don't like seeing a reading like this. And now we're going to put the uh, base of the Celtic cross. We've got the four of swords, the six of wands, ace of pentacles, and the page of, you know what? This reading sucks so bad. I'm going to, I'm going to reshuffle. This is, you know, this is not good. I don't like this. I don't like it all. Now, if similar cards come up in this uh, next in this next bit, then we're just going to keep them. But that's terrible. That's like the worst reading. That's like somebody's, oh, now I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to talk about it or give it energy, okay? All right. I'm going to shuffle these really well, okay? I might even use a different deck. Yeah, I'm going to use a different deck. I'm going to use the crow, okay? <laughs> I'm going to use the crow tarot. Okay, make sure they're all out. Okay. I love the crow. <laughs> okay. And, you know, uh, they seem to be like my spirit animal. Okay. Raven, crow. I know there's a difference. Um, the raven tends to be uh, what is around me here more in New Orleans. I see those often. Uh, you know. Okay. They tend to find me when I'm out walking. Yeah. I hear them. <laughs> I sound really stupid sometimes, like answering them back, but I do. Okay, I acknowledge them. <laughs> okay. All right, completely different deck. Okay, now I'm um, dividing these into three stacks. Okay. Card on the bottom of the deck is the Six of Pentacles. Okay. All right. Six of Pentacles energy. Uh, this is where you feel as if you've been in a um, situation where you've been giving and giving and giving. Uh, and you're feeling kind of depleted and uh, like you don't have anything left, like emotionally exhausted. You may be dealing with a... Um, is it emotional vampire type person? You know, this is New Orleans. I'm always thinking about vampires. All right. I live very close to the um, Ursulines convent. Okay. All right. That's another story. I got to tell you guys that story. But uh, 
anyway here you go so this is the six of pentacles all right this is your overall energy for the reading now let's go ahead and lay out this celtic cross and we're starting with the eight of wands okay and it's crossed by the hierophant it's getting a little better it's much much better reading okay and then we have the four of cups makes sense and the distant past we have knight of wands okay i'm feeling this a little bit better and the king of wands in your current energy and we have the eight of pentacles for uh, what's coming up. Now here's the base of your cross and we have the Ace of Wands. You got a lot of wands, so there's a lot of fire energy. The Magician, okay, what you're thinking, okay, uh, how others see you. You have the Six of Cups, okay, and your outcome is Four of Swords. Okay, well, let's go all right it's much better reading okay all right so with the eight of wands and the hierophant okay a lot of new energy that's coming in for you especially after you have been in a situation where you feel like uh you've been giving and giving and giving to a situation uh that energy is changing and uh what i think is really changing the most is you and your attitude towards that so with the um yeah with that eight of with that eight of wands it's like uh this is gonna be like really unexpected energy things that you know you haven't thought about or occurred to you you're just gonna all of a sudden have uh, pretty much uh, an epiphany and with the hierophant you know this card represents marriage long-term relationships and this is what you you know you ultimately want and desire this you work best when you're in a partnership although i do find that uh you know you have this four of cups energy all right so i do find that once you get what you want or what you think you want uh you're bored and i don't know you kind of tend to self-sabotage things as far as uh, you think, okay, well, I'll just keep this relationship here and I'm bored and I'll go do this on the side and nobody will know. But that's not really how it works because it always comes back and somebody always gets their feelings hurt or, or whatever. Now, the Knight of Wands. All right, so you may have been dealing with somebody that is a fire sign. Now, listen, a lot of people see this Knight of Wands as somebody who's uh, kind of uh, sexually adventurous, kind of a playboy, some, uh, kind of a player, whatever you guys call them these days. I'm an old lady, okay? So, you know, I might call them something different than you guys. Uh, you know, somebody that, like, plays around. So it feels as if maybe you think you've kind of met your match with this person, all right? So while you may be going all over the place, and this person is too, and uh, it's kind of giving you that challenge, okay? But what you're going to find is that once you actually commit yourself with some of that hair fun energy, once you kind of commit yourself to this uh, this wands, this is Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius person, once you commit yourself to this person, you're going to uh, you know, find that they are not so playful with other people after all, that they are actually very uh, committed to you. This is somebody that uh, they're protective of you. They want to look out for you. They want to watch over you. Uh, you know, they're going to, this is somebody that's always going to have your back. And it's really uh, very surprising. Okay. Now with the eight of coins that is coming in uh, in the next week or so, uh, what's going to happen is, you know, this is telling me that you need to really be uh, dedicated to your work, to your work environment, pay attention to the things that are going on, stay focused on what it is you actually want. Don't necessarily, um, you know, feel like you have to, um, I don't know, it's, it's like a really difficult feeling to describe. Work on your relationship. This is a, this person right here, this wands, this king of wands, this is somebody that's worth your time. This is somebody that uh, feels like 
this is a, this is a really long-term uh, relationship. So this Hierophant card is really starting to make sense. You're going to get exactly what you've been looking for. So with the Ace of Wands, whatever it is that you're doing right now, uh, you're going to feel you're going to be very successful at it. It's like, you know, everything is coming in all at once. Uh, love, romance, job, money, all those things are happening for you. And, you know, it makes a lot of sense because we have the magician here. So these are things that you have been uh, seeking, things that you have been thinking about, things that you want, things that you want to make happen in your life. Uh, you've got this... Um, Yeah, I'm feeling like you're kind of all over the place. It's kind of like an ADHD kind of energy that I'm receiving from this reading. And it feels as if, uh, you know, you got your irons in a whole lot of different uh, fires. But the thing is, every one of those are really successful and they're all going to manifest at the same time. Everything is going to, uh, you know, pop up and work for you. So with the Six of Cups, uh, this King of Wands person, uh, yeah, okay. There, you're gonna find that uh, this is your soulmate. This is the one you've been waiting for. This is the one that you've been manifesting. So, you know, this is somebody like, you know, like I said earlier, you met your match. Uh, they meet your energy. They don't take more, they don't take less. Uh, this isn't that energy uh, that, you know, what you, normally you're in a relationship where you give and you give and you give and you go out of your way and you want to nurture and, uh, and take care of your other person. Uh, it's almost like a mother hen type energy when you're in a relationship. But what you find is when you are giving like you normally do, this person tends to give back. And it's taking you by surprise just a little bit. Now, you know, we have that Four of Cups energy at the top of your reading where you're kind of bored. So, you know, when you finally get what you want, you kind of you kind of want to tear it up because I don't know why. I don't know why you do that. It's like you're not satisfied. There's something that's keeping you from doing it. So this could be a really good time to uh, do a little bit of that work on yourself and that self-discovery about why you do these things, why when things are going right. Uh, it could be that you have an addictive personality and you are used to those highs and lows and that roller coaster and that dopamine serotonin cycle that a lot of people get trapped in when uh, they are in uh, chaotic relationships. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple of... Um, Oracle cards from, for you from the Doreen Virtues Romance Angels, okay. I'm going to pull three cards from this deck, okay. I should put this up good. All right, and the card that I have is, it says, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, you know, that's true just about in any relationship, but especially in a new relationship, uh, you are free to uh, be yourself and this person loves you and accepts you and vice versa. And you, you know, you feel like uh, you don't, you feel, you feel as if, uh, you know, it's like, I don't want to say embarrassed, uh, you don't have to feel embarrassed when you're here with this person. You don't have to have fears that they're not going to love you or accept you for how you are. Uh, in fact, they embrace your flaws as part of your individuality. Okay, now, uh, are you going to be able to do that for them? Okay, uh, I usually shuffle these till one pops out, but it's not do happening, so I'm probably just going to have to... You know, I'm just going to like pull this one and see what it says. Okay, so this is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So definitely that Hierophant, that King of Cups, this is the person that you really want to uh, connect with. And yeah, so that is that is really good confirmation there that this is going to be a significant relationship in your life. Keep your eyes out for those fire signs. Okay, so the next card that popped out is Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay, so yeah, so this this is always important because it's hard to be in a relationship. I mean, 
is it superficial? Is it superficial? I mean, there has to be that attraction, right? Uh, yes, you can love somebody who is twisted and monster-like or whatever as far as their appearance goes. But uh, yeah, he, this person is a pretty good looking person and I find the same thing with you. And not only that, but you do have that attraction that is uh, working with the two of you and that's gonna make it uh, pretty good actually. So not only is there mutual love and respect here, but there's also that um, attraction. All right, so now I'm gonna pull a few cards from uh, the Crystal Angels. Okay. Yeah, it's really hot here today. I think the heat index is over 100. The air's going full blast and it's like, ugh. So, right. so this look is so little. This is uh, like a knockoff of Crystal Angels when I ordered it. I didn't know that. I lost my original deck that I had. And not only that, but it has this holographic finish on it. So it's really hard to see these cards online. So I will definitely uh, read these for you. All right, immediately this card jumped out. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's Malachite. I love Malachite. Okay. Prosperity. There is a positive shift in your flow of divine support. So with Malachite, uh, this is a crystal stone that you can carry with you during the month of July to attract wealth, to attract prosperity in your relationship, uh, just to draw in all your riches. Uh, it also gives you a lot of um, support. As, and you know, it helps you to trust your intuition. It'll enhance all of those things that you need to know during the month. So if you don't have a piece of Malachite, this is pretty easy to attain. If you don't have a metaphysical shop near you, of course, you can always go on Amazon and have things there in a day or two. But uh, yeah, uh, Malachite is awesome. And um, in fact, it's like one of the very first stones that I, I bought for myself way back in the 80s. <laughs> okay, guys. All right, I love you, and that is your uh, love reading for July 2022. And I want to tell you guys, thank you for all of your comments, likes, shares, and subscribes. And, uh, you know, for those of you who have uh, sent financial donations, thank you. I appreciate that very much. It helps me a lot, and it helps my channel growing as well. Okay, guys, love you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.